can guess what it might be doing, let me know in the comments. Okay. This is my second 3D printer, the end of three, and I upgraded it recently with one of these boards from Big Tree Tech, the SKR Mini E3. And the main reason I did that was to get um, the smart stepper drivers, which it, um, which it brings with it, for much quieter 3D printing. Well, it works. The stepper motors are almost silent, and printing overall is, is much, much quieter as you'd expect. But listen to this. Yeah, those roaring fans really dominate, and although it's a constant noise, not the ever-changing noise that a 3D printer normally makes, which is a lot more distracting, this is wearing after a while. It makes you tired. Now, on the end of three, the power supply fan and the mainboard fan and the heat break fan are all on at full tilt all the time whether you need them or not despite a note to the contrary on the power supply this makes them very noisy and pointlessly so anyway my thought was to make a small microcontroller based device which could control the fan speeds on these fans so that they only ran as much as they needed to to maintain the target temperature on the boards they were protecting and they would therefore not run at full tilt all the time and would be much quieter. And if you can power the whole thing from the fan socket on the board you're protecting then it becomes a self-contained system, a kind of smart fan. Of course the system would also need some kind of a sensor to sense how hot the board is. Well here is the smart fan unit. Power comes in here, 24 volts from the main board in this case on the end of three, and it's routed through a 300 milliamp fuse. Power is then fed to a buck converter which delivers five volts to power the uh, microcontroller, which in this case is an Arduino Pro Mini. There's a small bleeper which is used to sound the alarm if the board's temperature rises above 35 degrees centigrade. In other words, the fan can't cope. There's a digital temperature sensor which feeds into the board, accurate to plus or minus half a degree. There's a MOSFET sealed in a shrink wrap here which controls the output line which goes back to the fan. Right down here, which it pops out on the other side of the box, is an RGB LED which provides status information. This is the finished unit, although it's got a bit of an odd panel at the back, two position switch, this is the pass through which means the electronics is um, off and redundant not doing anything it's just passing power from this plug through a switch, that switch to that that's pass through and that's with the electronics in the system so let's plug the, um, the fan in And firstly, with the bypass on, as soon as we turn the power on, the fan starts and you're back in old school mode where it just runs at full tilt all the time. It's not sounding so loud because I've only got 18 and a half volts on my power supply. That's all this can do. So that's mode one. Now let's um, put it in mode two. So now the box is in control. The power feeds the fan through the microcontroller which is informed about temperature through this so if I emulate warming up the board or the power supply by pinching it we'll see the color change going slightly orange and red and the fan speeds up which is what we want If the fan becomes overwhelmed, or the board, it can't cool the board, then you get the blue indication and the bleep. And that goes away when temperature gets back to normal. But that would alert you that something's horribly wrong and you should turn it off. The main board fan sucks down rather than blowing up. What that means is it's fighting convection and it's also sucking in hot air from the heated bed. Flipping the fan means it's blowing up with convection and it's taking hot air from the bed away from the board enclosure. Even with this gap, which is unavoidable because of the way the standoffs work, it was a, a big improvement. 
but I knocked up a, a TPU gasket to solve the problem. Nice. So the next step is to power it instead of from my bench power supply from the, um, the printer power supply. It's that time. Here's where the fan would normally be plugged in, but I'll be plugging in the, the smart system. The thing that's going to get the hottest is, are these power uh, devices here, which are heavily heat sunk. So what I'm going to do is stick this sensor with some hot glue just there, which equates to just above where they'll be uh, when the whole thing's assembled. Um, so that's what I'll do. So this is before. And this. It's with both the power supply fan and the main board fan in smart mode, which means the fan is on as much as it needs to be to maintain an optimum temperature inside, which is 30 degrees centigrade. I've just kicked off a print and I'm just blown away by the quietness. It's just so peaceful, restful. It's, you don't know how bad it is until it goes away and then you think, oh, wow. Um, so far, the the light is green, which means it's not breaking a sweat in the slightest degree. But, you know, it's running a hot bed at 60 and a nozzle at 200, and it's just started a two-hour print. So we'll see how the system copes. I suspect it won't ever get off the green. Um, because when you, when you feel that casing, even when the printer's been very busy for a long time, it's not even warm. As long as that green light's flashing, you know it's working in there. And as long as the bleeper's not going, you know there's nothing bad going in there. So the sentry's on duty and the sentry is happy and that's what you want. And it's all quiet. This system's been in place for a few weeks and it's wonderful to live with and there have been no issues whatsoever. And in fact it's caught its first emergency already. I was prototyping a part and so I was running the printer through the serial interface, printing um, Fusion 360 parts um, rapidly. For rapid prototype is easier if you go through the serial port. And I noticed that um, both the lights were flashing red. Just with, The alarm didn't go off, but they were flashing red, which is the step just before they go off. And so I stopped everything. And I found that all of the stepper motors were too hot to touch. So 70 degrees, somewhere around there and the board was, uh, both boards were warm, so something horrible going on. Now I haven't solved that mystery yet, but I have seen this once or twice before when you print something from the serial interface, the printer runs very hot. It's not something I've got to the bottom too, it's not something that's bothering me much, but um, it may have already saved the machine because I wonder, I, there's no other way I would have noticed it, the print was proceeding normally, um, and you can't see hot, um, so this thing allows you to see hot. Anyway, I'm wondering if this thing might make another product for me to sell online, a general smart fan. You can fit it not just to 3D printers, um, but to any device whose temperature needs regulating. And if that device comes with a dumb fan already, then you'll be able to plug in this smart fan as a sort of drop-in replacement, and you automatically get the smarts. Um, I'd be interested in what thoughts you have on that idea. If you think it's a dumb idea, it would never work, and why? 
um, perhaps even how much you might think it ought to cost. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you've um, enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more like this, um, hit the uh, subscribe button. So, thanks for coming along.